I'm back. <sighs> Notice anything different? <laughs> yes, my entire background has changed. I finally have a chair. Like an actual chair. Like, look at this. This has like a back, it has like armrests. Not a stool. You know, we're up in our production value. Got a new computer. Built a desk. I built this. Mostly. You're gonna see that in a second. So yes, why was I gone on Friday? Very simply, I posted it on my community page. Basically, I've completely redone my room. Hopefully this video helps you. Maybe if you're an aspiring pet tuber, just an inspiring YouTuber in general, maybe I can show you how to rearrange your space so that you can have a little bit more productivity. Or if you just like room transformations, because I'm not gonna lie, like she went from like, like Britney Spears shaving your head and attacking the paparazzi with an umbrella to Britney Spears now. You know, I mean, she's she's doing good. She's doing good. She's feeling herself. We're gonna get all into this. I am definitely going to go back to uploading twice a week. It was just very hard with time because I also had to work. So to balance uh, cleaning my room, trying to find good deals on a desk, chair, and Mac. It was a lot, okay? <laughs> I'm a working person. <laughs> I'm a busy woman, okay? I'm Asia O'Hara. I'm busy. I also have a new plant. Her name is Miss Cracker. She's a woman. Let's get into my transformation, because I'm not gonna lie, I love this. I love having a chair that does not make my back hurt. I love having a computer that I was able to finance all by myself. Why did I all of a sudden decide to change absolutely everything about my surroundings? Well, let's start off with the obvious, I'm Gemini. Gemini season's over for the rest of y'all, but it's never over for your local Gemini. But to be very honest, I want to grow my channel. I want to produce better quality content and I want to grow my channel very plain and simple so I decided that I need to reinvest in my channel I did get my first AdSense check too by the way oh thank you guys for watching my ads please continue to do so because my sheets are ripped and I gotta go to bed about the wheel <laughs> so please keep watching them I love you though thank you so the first step to this, really, the catalyst of this all, was I wanted a new computer. I love my computer. She's an oldie. She's a goodie. She's always been good to me. She's my old faithful. However, she's running out of disk space. <laughs> I've had my old MacBook since 2012. What's those peed on it at least four times. However, again, space. It's a lot of memory. It's a lot of files. It's raw files. It's the final product. You know, one of the ways that I actually cut down is that I do not keep all of my final files on my computers. I actually keep them on an external hard drive, which I have. So every video I've ever made, every thumbnail I've ever made is on the external hard drive so I don't have to worry. So uh, when I started my MacBook journey, went to the Apple store, was looking around, and also went to Best Buy. I like to bargain shop, okay? I was looking at space, I was looking at, you know, different specs, and I realize that a MacBook, you're really paying for convenience. For someone who isn't on the go as much, I very rarely leave this house. <laughs> I leave this house so little that every single time I get in my car, my phone, little maps feature, automatically gives me the traffic time to my job because it only thinks I'm going to work. <laughs> like, I don't do anything to the fact that when I started spending money for this, my bank was like, this is fraud. You don't spend this much. You don't do anything. <laughs> my bank was looking at my spending like, hmm, this isn't the gas station around the corner or Starbucks must be fraud. Which I thank you dearly for keeping me safe. However, unfortunately, I went a little wild. So I didn't really need a MacBook Pro. I could invest more heavily in a bigger hard drive space and also something called a fusion drive which i found out from a nice man at the apple store i will probably butcher it but it like sorts out the files so it puts files you don't always access in one place and files that you are always accessing in another place uh, i don't work at the apple store <laughs> although this wasn't from the apple store actually this was from best buy i got hundred dollars off so i decided you know what? i need a desktop but I did not have room for a desk for said desktop to be on top of. So I went ahead and decided that I needed to rearrange everything. I need to rearrange uh, Mr. Peanut Butter and Archer. I had a couple other spots that they could go to. So originally I was just going to move them to and I was going to put the desk right here and I wasn't really gonna move anything else. However, then I decided, you know what? Nah, let's change 
everything. <laughs> well, let's start this journey. Let's start this journey of me creating a space where I could do YouTube, which was honestly my whole purpose of this. It had just got it out of hand. Now the how. So I first start off very simply cleaning. All right, guys, here is the before portion of uh, my filming space. So here we have Archer, Mr. Peanut Butter, my little stool that I sit on. Here's my ring light. I know I gotta, I gotta clean this up. So we're going to completely revitalize this space so I can use it a little more effectively. Don't worry. Winslow's here to supervise everything. Doing amazing, sweetie. Now once when I was done cleaning, it was time to make Archer at home. I think this is where he was probably like a year ago. I think he was on top of the same shelf. So it was time to return him to his previous home. So I'm actually going to put these guys on my desk and put Archer here. So I just got to <laughs> deconstruct this small tower <laughs> I've gotten here. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that real quick and then make Archer at home right here on this little ledge. Now, as you can see, I did not actually put the Funkos on my desk. Instead, I decided to put them beside my desk. <laughs> a safe little location. And these are actually the majority of my favorite Funkos, so I can see them right next to me. A Leslie Nope right next to my desk to remind me that, girl, you're busy. You gotta get working. Thank you, Leslie. Love you. All right, change of plans. So we are actually going to shift my bed this way. Mr. Peanut Butter's cage is gonna be here. Might leave Archer's cage up there. I think um, he might just do a little better up there. And then I'm gonna put the desk up against the window. I thought this was gonna be so simple and this is like gonna literally take up my entire weekend. Oh my God. Yes, my desk was supposed to be against my window. This, this space has gone through a lot of phases in the planning process. And you know, after careful consideration, and by that I mean consulting with my Taurus friend, Brie, she decided, she's like, you know what? I think it would look better there. and. I'm, I'm, I'm a Gemini, so she's obviously much better <laughs> at planning than I am. And I think it turned out really well. I actually have very sensitive eyes. My pupils, they over dilate as in like they take in like too much light. I guess it actually kind of worked out better or I'd be wearing sunglasses while I edit the entire time, which probably wouldn't be the best. Now after deciding where my desk and stuff would go, it was time to buy said desk. This is actually where having a lizard really paid off for me. I was actually originally going to buy an $85 desk from Target. However, Winslow's bulb burnt out that morning, which was actually a really great thing because I get his bulbs at Walmart. So I was like, you know what? Not a big deal. I'm planning on going out anyways. I'll just get bulbs on my way to Target. Walk in, I'm like, you know what? Let me just look at the desk. Something was telling me, Megan, look at the desks. And it was obviously like some sort of fairy that lets me save money because here she was, a $43 desk that was about the same size as the $85 one from Target, but for almost half the price. So Winslow, thank you. You're doing amazing, sweetie. I also got the chair the same day, the chair I got at Target. Invest in chairs if you have back problems, okay? If you're a retail employee, invest in chairs. If your feet hurt a lot, invest in chairs. Just invest in a good chair. <laughs> That's the message of this video. Now next up was assembly. Walmart says this can be assembled in 30 minutes or less. Let's see if they're being straight up with us or not. <laughs> so if you're wondering by the box, they kind of lied because they said, oh, 30 minutes. And I actually started it kind of late at night, um, probably around like 10 o'clock at night. And I opened it up, read the directions. It turns out that the first eight screws that you need to put in the little like bracket things um, are threaded or something weird. You need force to be able to get them in there. Because of this, I realized, oh crap, I'm gonna have to ask my dad to do this, who's already asleep. So I had to wait 15 hours. <laughs> he had to go to work. So I had to wait until he got back from work to be able to do this. So 
technically it took me like 15 hours and then the rest took about 30 minutes it's, it was it wasn't a really hard desk it was just it it was that first initial you know couple of screws now while I sat there and cried about it being too hard for me to go ahead and do this I can't do this I decided to go ahead and put together my chair The only thing is is that um, I did have to unscrew the little uh, bottom part to be able to put these on because it was really hard because I can quite balance it. I have a chair! Woo! Would recommend this chair. It's Target chair, office chair, I don't know. From Room Essentials if y'all are going to college or something. It's actually a pretty decent chair for 60, 70 bucks. Winslow, I know what you're thinking. Don't do it. Oh, look at her. She put a desk together uh, like 90% by herself. I couldn't get the first couple screws done. But look at it. it it's, it's probably level. I'm not sure. I'm not an expert. Um, Winslow's definitely considering jumping on it, though. Winslow, don't. Don't do it. Don't. So with the chair built and my desk all ready to go, it's time to get the PS8 resistance of this whole room. The catalyst to my extreme room makeover, my computer. Now, I mentioned, I don't know, in the beginning, the Fusion Drive. Now, the thing about the Fusion Drive is that they do not carry it in Apple stores to order that. Also, the thing with Best Buy and Apple, they usually sell computers around the same price. So I was like, oh, well, maybe Best Buy has a Fusion Drive option that they have in store so that I could have it for this video because I really want to put $2,000 in this title so that I could get the really good ads. Okay, um, if you talk money, get good ads. I'm trying to get good ads here, okay? Again, I gotta buy new sheets. <laughs> but actually, to my surprise, that weekend, uh, Best Buy was having $100 off max, which was really great because it was basically like getting the Fusion Drive for free, so I got the i5 with the Fusion Drive for $100 less than I would at the Apple Store. Bargain shopping, guys, okay? I might have spent $2,000, but guess what? I'm not stupid, okay? I'm trying to get my dollars worth. Quick little tip for ya. I don't know about other people, but I live in a place where sales tax varies by town. Official sales tax is about 7.75. Um, however, there are some towns that have it higher. Now, the place that actually picked this up actually does have a sales tax of 8.75. However, because I ordered it online, I saved a percent. Now, I know what you're thinking, Megan, a percent. That's not a lot. Okay, well, this was about um, $1,400, so that's about $100 in sales tax, okay? Save your money, sis. Save your money. Just because you picked it up there doesn't mean that you ordered it from there. So I've already started the unboxing process. I see her. She's Roxy Andrews. She's here to make it clear. Oh. Oh, uh, ooh, ah, fun. All right, so here we have a surge protector. Very important. I have all my animals on surge protectors. I think California's doing some weird blackout things to prevent fires. So California residents, um, beware. People be messing with your electricity. But here she is. I love her. She looks so beautiful. I'm gonna try to keep her in her plastic as long as possible. Because I'm one of those people, and no, I did not pay $1,000 for this stand. <laughs> well, yes, I fully intend on uh, watching several seasons of Love Island while editing on this thing. I'm also, you know, sitting out here ready to rock with YouTube. So now, here is the part that maybe a lot of you were really waiting for. This is now my official tour. YouTube reptile bedroom. <laughs> Weird combination. <laughs> Let's do this.
So here is the overall view from the little entryway. So here's a quick plant update though. Linda Evangelista doing quite well. I have some fake plants up here too. I'm not gonna talk about the bathroom today. Here's just like a little bookshelf. I have reptile supplies an entire shelf of candles because why? I'm a witch. Um, some books, Luke Skywalker, a llama, my dog. Um, here is where Archer's residing now. So this, you saw this used to be completely covered with Funkos. More reptile supplies. My ring light thing here is, of course, the precious Miss Bean. My dogs could start barking. I could enjoy this moment. Oh, All right. The dogs have stopped barking. So here's some beautiful Miss Bean footage. She's in the same place. She's just chilling. I just like to highlight Miss Bean because she's beautiful. All right. So if this whole thing has taught me one thing. It's how much Winslow has. Okay. He has a full on chair and ottoman. He has an iron throne. He has a pet bed. Look at him. It's a what? You're so spoiled. He's like, yes, I know. I would like to keep my lifestyle. Thank you very much. All right, so next thing is my drawers. I know they're not closed all the way. This doesn't really have too much bearing. Just for my TV sets, Switch, Xbox 360, my other gnome, my matching gnome. You stand. Um, uh, Beanie Baby Godzilla, because why not? We move on to this nightstand. Here we have Tammy Brown, my plant, my polka dot plant. She's looking beautiful. She's gotten absolutely gigantic. And right under here is where Mr. Peanut Butter now resides. That's that. He's just chilling. Um, I'm pretty sure he likes it right here. It's a nice little change of space. And we have my bed keeping watch as always. I want to believe poster. And then we get to my little area. So here, actually, we can start right here. Here is actually my old nightstand. I've converted it into like a little thing where I can come in, put my keys in because um, actually, one of the reasons why this took so long is because uh, the day after I bought my desk, I lost my keys for like two hours and went on Twitter and about it. Okay, but we're over it. That has my purse and some candles. That's like my jewelry and stuff like that. Those are some records. And then we get to my filming area and desk. So uh, here's everything you all just saw from a little bit of a different angle. Yeah, and there's the closet. Bottom is very messy, I know. Um, that gray thing is a background that one day I will hopefully put up. This is actually where I usually keep my ring light, right behind there. That's just a tripod. A uh, bag of bags, which we all have, and some plants that I need to disinfect to give to my gargoyle to go. But that's my room, you guys. My reptile room, bedroom, and filming room. <laughs> With a $2,000 makeover. Hell yeah. I know it was about a week in the making. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I hope you guys got something out of it, whether you just wanted to sit around and see me again because you missed me so much. I will see you guys on Friday again. I promise I'll see you on Friday. I'm not planning anything big, okay? So we're going Friday for sure. I know last Friday I skimped out, but look, look at this progress that I've made, okay? Life progress. New computer. It was very expensive. YouTube ad algorithm. Please give me good ads because I just spent a lot of money. But anyways, guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, check out the merch as well. We have that link down in the bio. Bye!